Hey everyone, welcome back to Tracking Nature. Today we are going on a journey into the wild to talk about a special and often overlooked creature, the Indian pangolin. These amazing animals are covered in scales, live an extraordinary nocturnal lifestyle and are all unfortunately endangered. We will explore their lives, challenges they face and what we can do to protect them. Let's get started. The Indian pangolin is quite different from most other animals you have seen. Covered in hard scales, it's like nature decided to create an armored mammal. These scales are made of keratin, the same stuff our nails are made of. Imagine having a suit of armor that can protect you from almost anything. Sounds like a superhero, right? Pangolins are shy creatures mostly found in forests and grassland across India. They are nocturnal which means they sleep during the day and become active at night. Their favorite meal? Ants and termites. With their long sticky tongues, sometimes even longer than their bodies, they slough up insects from deep within ant hills and termite mounds. Sadly, the Indian pangolin is in trouble. The biggest threat to these animals come from us, humans. First, their habitats are being destroyed. Forests are being cut down for agriculture, cities and roads, which leaves pangolin with fewer places to live and find food. And then there is an illegal wildlife trade. Pangolins are actually one of the most trafficked animals in the world. Can you believe it? Many people wrongfully think that pangolin scales have medicinal properties leading to them being hunted and sold. This makes the survival of this gentle creature even more difficult. Let's take a closer look at how pangolins live their everyday lives. These animals are solitary meaning they prefer to be alone. They dig burrows for shelter and emerge at night to feed. One really cool fact is that when pangolins feel threatened, they roll up into a tight ball making it very hard for the predator to get them into. It's such a clever defense mechanism but it also makes them easy targets for poachers. Unlike other animals that run away, pangolins rely on their armor and end up becoming even more vulnerable to humans. So what's being done to help the Indian pangolin? Thankfully, there are many organizations and people working hard to protect them. Conservation groups are rescuing pangolins from poachers, taking care of them and releasing them back into the safe areas. There are also programs that educate local communities about why these creatures are important and why we need to protect them. And this is where you and I can help too. Simply learning about these animals and sharing this information with others can make a huge difference. Every small action counts. Pangolins are solitary by nature and they prefer to live alone, only seeking company during the mating season. This makes them pretty mysterious creatures as they are rarely seen interacting with others. When it comes to finding a mate, pangolins rely heavily on their keen sense of smell. Males use scent trails to track females who are usually only respective to mating for a very short time each year. Once a male finds a female, they may communicate using a series of low grunts and snorts an endearing ritual that eventually leads to a brief interaction. After mating, the male usually leaves and the female is left to care for the young. Pangolins have a gestation period of around 5 months. When the baby, called a pup, is born, it's incredibly tiny and its scales are soft, gradually hardening over the first few days. These young pangolins ride on their mother's tail as she goes about her nocturnal activities, which is both adorable and practical for keeping them safe. As for their diet, pangolins are specialized feeders. They eat ants, termites, and some other small insects. Unlike most mammals, pangolins don't have teeth, which means they can't chew their food. Instead, they rely on a powerful digestive system to process their meals. They have specially adapted stomach lined with keratinous spines and even small stones that they swallow to help grind up their insects they consume. Before they eat, pangolins use their soft curved claws to tear open ant nest and termite mounds and then use their incredibly long sticky tongues, sometimes up to 16 inch long, to reach deep into the nest. Their tongues are attached near the pelvic region rather than in the mouth, giving them an impressive reach. Another interesting fact is how pangolins avoid getting bitten by their prey. As they feed, they can close their nostril and ear tightly to keep the aggressive ants and termites from crawling inside. It's this combination of adaptions that makes them such efficient insect eaters. In fact, a single pangolin can consume up to 70 million ants and termites in a year, which is vital for keeping insect population under control and maintaining a balance in their ecosystem. Pangolins are also amazing burrowers. They have strong front claws that help them dig extensive burrows which can be several meters deep. These burrows provide shelter from predators and extreme weathers. Some pangolins are also used hollow trees as temporary shelters. 
Their burrows aren't just important for them, they often become homes for other animals after they have abandoned, contributing to the larger ecosystem by providing shelter for various species. Their daily routines are quite solitary and secretive. They are primarily nocturnal, venturing out only after dark to forage for food. During the day, they remain in their burrows to rest. This nocturnal lifestyle is another reason why pangolins are rarely seen in the wild, making them even more elusive. Pangolins have a range of natural predators including big cats like leopards and tigers. However, their unique defense mechanism of curling up into a tight, armored ball usually keeps them safe from most natural threats. The scales are so tough that even large predators have a difficult time breaking through. Unfortunately, this same defense mechanism makes them easy targets for humans who can simply pick them up once they are curled into a ball. In the wild, pangolins play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy ecosystem. By controlling insect populations, they help prevent these insects from becoming pests that could damage crops and natural vegetations. This makes them a keystone species, one that has a disproportionately large impact on its environment relative to its population size. The more we learn about pangolins, the more we realize how essential they are to the health of our natural world. Their unique adoption, solitary behavior and the role they play in pest control all highlight why it's so crucial to protect these animals from extinction. Now you may be wondering how can you help protect the Indian pangolin, here are a few easy ways. Share what you have learned. Education is key. Tell your friends and family about pangolins and the challenges they face. The more people know, the better. Support conservation organizations. These are amazing people out there de dedicating their lives to saving animals. By supporting these organizations, either by donating or simply spreading the word, you can make a difference. Choose responsibility. Be aware of products that might be linked to wildlife exploitation. The more informed our choices, the less we contribute to the illegal wildlife trade. Thank you so much for this joining me on this journey to learn more about Indian pangolin. It's incredible to think about all the unique animals we share our world with and it's up to us to protect them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more wildlife content and let's spread awareness together. Thank you.